It is 6.30 in the morning. I am here at the Meals on Wheels facility serving Central Virginia. And I'm here as a volunteer, and I want to learn more and work with these people. Oh, Good, morning. Good morning, Linda. Good morning. I'm Peter Sokol, Vice President of Operations for uh, Meals on Wheels. Hello, Peter. Welcome to our community kitchen. Oh, this is amazing. It's Thanks. huge, and there's so many people here already. So let's get you suited up. Okay. So this is it. This We're ready to work. It's our kitchen's broken up into three major areas, a prep area, a cook area, and then a packaging area. It's so amazing. The smell's here already. I will tell you, you're not the only guest we have here today. We have our president and CEO for the Meals on Wheels Association of America, Eden Borden, is coming as well. The CEO is here? Yes, she's Ooh, here. Exactly. She'll be visiting sometime soon. Let me introduce you to someone. Yes. Sally. Hi. Sally, this is Linda. Nice oh. to meet you. Kitchen handshake. Kitchen handshake. Okay. I've got to bounce to the office, oh, but do. I'll catch you guys later. Okay. okay. See you, Pete. Bye, Peter. So what, what you got? Well, today um, we are making uh, bread dressing. We try and do uh, southern comfort food for our, our clients, and so we're, they're having roast turkey with bread dressing, gravy, and peas, and then they're gonna have sweet potato pie. Ooh, okay, let me so, get you started on this. And, okay, uh, and what do we do here? Well, um, we're, gonna, we're gonna start keeping up the bread. I'll give you a little bit of background on what we do for our clients. Um, again, because we're in the South, what we really try and do is make really good comfort food for everyone. Well, things so, that they're probably used to, right? Exactly, I mean, that's how exactly. They grew up with their comfort food, sure. There we go. Uh, and I'll okay. get Steve to finish up on that, and we can go and uh, well, let me show you the rest of the process over okay. in this area of the kitchen. Here we go. Next, it was time to put my chopping skills to the test. Wow, what are you doing here? He is making the um, oh, celery, celery and the onions for the, for the bread dressing. So when we make things like this, um, we're doing it by uh, the batches of about 300 pounds. So for our, our bread dressing, it's got 35 pounds of celery 35 and 35 pounds, pounds of onion. Do of I celery. get to cut this? Yeah, you okay. get to cut it. Help us out. Okay, let's go. Oh, I love this. I'm working alongside a real uh, chef. Yes. At Meals on Wheels. I love it. Chopping the celery, more celery, more celery, more celery. Then we took the chopped celery and put it in the celery chopper upper. We took the celery and made it smaller. And I mean, I was enthralled. I love it. 365 days of the year. We do. Yeah. And it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner yes. for these people. Oh yeah. my gosh. Right Dump in it in there. Okay. Oh, a little bit more. A little more. Okay. Oh, more. Okay. There Here we go. go. There. Okay. Just as I finished up with the celery, Enid Borden, the CEO of Meals on Wheels, arrived. Oh, oh, how are you? Oh, my goodness. Hey, Enid, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Kitchen, kitchen nice shake. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Let me rescue you from Sally. How's that, all right? Okay. Thank well, you I've so much. Thanks time. for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Casey. Thank you you keep going with the onions. Let's go for a They're walk. Bad for my eyes. Okay. One in nine seniors in this country is going hungry. I mean, that's shocking to me that in America, the richest country in the world, has anybody starving. Right. How many people do you do you feed? Well, we're serving a million meals a day, but we have six million seniors who are hungry. And you know, this is the richest nation on the face of the earth, and yet we have hunger in this country. That there are six million seniors in the United States that are hungry. Now that's, to me, a tragedy. You know, we call our seniors in this country the hidden hungry. They're behind closed doors. People don't know they're there, but they are our mothers and our fathers and our grandparents. They're us. When I met Enid, it was, there was a sisterhood. She has the biggest heart. She's not very big, but she has this giant heart. She cares. Six million seniors going hungry tonight in America? Oh, what's wrong with that picture? I, that shouldn't be. No, it shouldn't be, and we can make a difference. Woo! You know, it gets to you, because particularly when you knock on the door of a senior who hasn't seen anybody all day long, and we're there with a meal. We're a helping hand, we're not a handout, we're a helping hand. Peter Soko came running in as I was talking to him. Hey, 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 and he said, well, we have a disaster. Uh, I have some news, not so good news. I just heard from Joe at our Willow Lawn distribution site and the site refrigeration went down last night. Oh, no. So oh. we have to throw out 300 meals and we've got to start from scratch. So 300 need... meals have been spoiled. I mean, these people are relying on this food. So oh, we need yeah. to prep, cook, package, and chill 300 meals in the next two hours. Now you're going to see us in action. Okay, let's go. So in we ran to bring in the new food that had to be done instantly. There was manic. Oh, where do I go? I go here. Whoa. Oh, it's a emergency meal. 
all hands were on deck, and then Peter pulled me out of the line to help him start packing up the meals okay. so we could get them to the distribution so center, the where all the volunteer drivers were waiting. All right, guys, we are on a bit of a timeline. We have 10 minutes, and we got to get these meals across town. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. we got people, hungry people. Ah, going to be both of us. Across town. A 15 minute drive. 15 so we're behind. Pete, we're going to get a hurry. Ooh.